Welcome back. We have just arrived at Oak Tree Mall, and at the end of the last video, I mentioned that there are a lot of radio codes in these uh, radio traffic uh, messages between our car and dispatch. And like with Police Quest 1, these codes can be found in the manual of the game. Some of the codes we've heard so far are uh, 10 4, which of course means received message. It's probably the most well known radio code. And when we left the station, Keith said we were 10 8 from the station, and that meant that we are in service. We've also used 1020, meaning location, 1097, arrived at scene, and 1198, meeting. Um, and we are currently having an 1198 with Officer Haynes here at the mall. We ha he has apparently found the car belonging to Lewis Pate. This is definitely the correctional officer's car, Haynes says. He's been sitting here a while, though, he continues. The engine is cold. We can only assume that there is a little bit more passage of time between certain events than appears to be the case just from how long we're playing. Because if we go purely by how long we're playing, Baines uh, escaped from jail about ten minutes ago, <laughs> so this car couldn't have been here for a while. But apparently more time than that has passed. Sonny, I'm going to take a look... Uh, Sonny, I'm going to take a look around, Keith says. You go ahead and check out the car. So, of course, again, Keith is not going to do anything useful. Leaving us to do all the real work. Haynes says, I think I'll go check around a little. There may be some witnesses. Good idea. Meanwhile, we have to investigate the car. And in order to do that, we will need our field kit. Because that contains all the stuff we need to collect evidence. Well, which car is it? Well, the only car here that looks like a blue Corvette is this one. You look at the jailer's car and think, a well-kept vet. What a nice blue color. <laughs> yes, like I said, we had a blue Corvette in the previous game, until Marie made us change it, uh, exchange it for a different car. But um, I guess to be sure that it is the right car, we should look at the license plate. You notice that the rear plate is missing. No. Let's try the plate at the front. You find a personalized front plate that reads, Wow. You think to yourself, yourself, Quite fitting for such a sharp vet. I bet you wish you still had yours. Don't you, Sonny? Well, um, let us uh, do some detective work. See if we can find anything in here. Look at the VIN number. You don't see anything particularly interesting. Okay, I guess not. Search the car. You search diligently, finding nothing. I guess we should check if there are any fingerprints, which we can do with uh, fingerprint powder from the field kit. And good sources for fingerprints would be the steering wheel. Carefully, you apply the fingerprint powder. You examine the powder and think to yourself, not worth processing. processing. Okay, maybe the gear lever will have uh, some prints. Carefully you apply the fingerprint powder and not worth processing, you think. Um, the rear view mirror, perhaps? Not worth processing. Damn it. How about the glove box? Carefully, you apply the dust and, mumbling to yourself, here's one worth taking. And we can lift the print using the tape from our field kit. Using the tape, you carefully lift the print. 
Now, we don't know if this print belongs to Lewis Pate or Jesse Baines, but uh, we can only hope it's Baines. Okay, let's see if there's anything in the glove box. Hmm. In the glove compartment you see bullets, empty holster, car registration. Okay, let's get those bullets for evidence. Looking the ammunition over, you think, hmm, three rounds of .38 caliber. Better hang on to this for evidence. The holster as well. You look at the empty holster and ponder the whereabouts of the gun. You retain it for evidence. Yeah, where is the gun? Probably Baines has it. And that's not a good thing. Baines is now on the loose and armed. Um, let's check the registration. Would help if I spelled that right. You look at the registration. After confirming the name Lewis Pate, you return it to the glove box. Okay. Oh, Haynes is coming back with a woman. Maybe she's a witness. Hey, Sonny, Haynes shouts. Looks like Baines may have taken another car. This lady says her car has been stolen. Smart guy, Baines, changing uh, his getaway car. I think you'll have some questions to ask her. Yes, we should ask her about her car. You ask for the description of her car, and she says, Oh yes, it's a 1986 compact Chevy station wagon. It's black, and the license number is... is C035... Oh, that's all I can remember, officer. How big for help you are. I'll take it from here, Sonny, Haynes assures you. You've got your work cut out for you. Yes, we do. I like the way she walks. Okay, we're done here. So let's put our kit back in the trunk. And skedaddle. Keith yells, I'm coming, Sonny! And what did you do? Nothing. I bet you were just there smoking, just off screen. I wish I had a partner who actually did some work. As you get into the car, you fill Keith in on what you've discovered. Keith, by contrast, fills you in on how much he's been not doing anything. I guess we should inform dispatch that uh, Bane's changed cars and has a gun. Keith keys the mic. Dispatch 53 Mary 2, be advised that suspect Baines may be in possession of the correctional officer's gun. 10 4, 53 Mary 2. Dispatch crackles back. Attention all units. <coughs> Update on jailbreak per 53 Mary 2. Jesse Baines may now be armed with the correctional officer's gun. Approach with caution. <coughs> Keith advises dispatch of the stolen car information and requests notification of all units. 53 Mary 2, 10 4. <coughs> Attention all units, dispatch transmits. Be on the lookout for one block, 1986, four-door, mid station wagon, and uh, the rest of it I couldn't read. Yeah, unfortunately these messages disappear all by themselves, so sometimes I don't have enough time to read them. Oh well, you can always just uh, rewind the video a bit and read the rest. It's basically just passing on the vehicle information. Okay, we're done here, so we should return to the station, but we'll do it in the next video.